Hey guys, what's up? This is Swift here, and today I will be teaching you how to do something called port forwarding. And this is very, very useful if you want to access your local service, uh, for example, your game server or your um, FTP server, so on and so forth, from outside your local area network. And this is us usually the case if you want to um, actually share your files with other people from outside your area, local area network and uh, you will have to do this thing called port forwarding so now port forwarding is usually done at the uh, routers end and uh, there are 100 and thousands of routers available out there so I will not be able to go through all, all the different kinds of routers but what I will teach you now is um, quite relevant in the sense that the words that you see here the uh, option names and so on and so forth are usually the same um, if not they will differ slightly but the functions of each option remain the same so um, just uh, look at what I do and then um, just just set accordingly to whichever your router has now i will give you some links as well to refer to to look for guides specific to your own router and if all else fail um, you can simply google your router's name or model number and then simply type in the keywords of um, port forward so now um, the idea behind port forwarding is that every one of us has um, are issued a WAN, WAN IP and this WAN WAN is basically um, stands for Wide Area Network and this WAN IP is issued by your ISP whichever um, service provider you are signed up with and this WAN IP is used as something like a public IP, something that people will use to relate to your own home network. Now, what we have in our own local area network here is called the LAN, which is, a I just said it, the local area network. Um, usually, the computers within a similar network are issued a LAN IP. Now, what you want to do is that in order to access this LAN IP, you have to do the thing that we're going to learn today, which is port forwarding. So we will forward a port on a um, our one IP into the forward it to the port of our LAN IP. So, for example, uh, we forward the port um, one hundred on our one IP, and then we can forward it to our port 80 say a web server on our local area our perhaps our DIY NAS and then it will by accessing the WAN IP from the outside you will access the um, web server on your local area network so without further ado what you will need here is basically um, very simply to access your own routers uh, manager the UR, uh, web interface or whichever so it usually would be 192.168.1.1 but if you have configured it otherwise do um, change it accordingly for example for mine I have my router set at um, 0.1.199 and so I just type it there and I will um, go into the router panel now what you see here this is DDWRT one of the more common custom firmware that you can flash on your router and um, so if you have a DDWRT enabled router as well, you can follow exactly else just um, listen to the different things that you should look out for and then uh, find it accordingly on your own router web um, interface. So now what you want to find here is basically um, something called it should be called something like port forwarding, port mapping, port range forwarding, um, something we go along the lines of port or forwarding. And uh, you can find that perhaps in the main page of your router, or if not, it should be under one of the subsections. So you just have to find accordingly. You should see such, um, such options here. Um, especially uh, usually they allow you to name the for the port forwarding that you're doing uh, allow you to choose the protocol and um, the source and then usually this source might be there and might not be there but this is the main part here port from and then the local area IP address and port 
two. Now explain briefly what each means. Now I just mentioned earlier this part here. Application can be called name, title, whichever. This is basically for your own reference as to what this um port forward does. And then this protocol, you usually have three options here. TCP, UDP, or both. You can search up Google for the different uh, users of each, but usually I'll keep it at both um, to enable uh, most compatibility. Now, source net here, usually you won't have to edit this. Um, it will automatically be referred to your one, one IP, which is here, you can see here, 175.156. And then port from, now this is what you want to access from outside. Um, using your one IP and then this is the port that you're going to enter and then here IP address usually refers to your local area network IP address now 192.168.1.100 this is basically my uh, Swift NAS my DIY NAS server and then port 2 for example for example purposes I will show um, my uh, webmin web uh, interface to just show you quickly how it works and how what will it look like when it's enabled so this is where you're on port from and then this is port wherever you're on port to so forward from 1337 into your uh, whatever port that you want to forward it to now once you have typed in whatever you want is quite self-explanatory um, besides um, not using the common protocols, I mean, the common ports, for example, port 80, port 22, um, which stands for HTTP and uh, SSH respectively, um, you should be good to go. So you can just choose one of the higher ports here. So for example, for mine here, I just chose 1337 here and I port it to 10,000. So what you want to do is basically enable it or add it or something and then apply the settings. Uh, you might have to reboot your router, but uh, that should be should not take more than say five minutes. So once you have done that, what you want to do here is to check whether the port is open. And what you can do here is to access this website called canyouseeme.org. Um, and then you see here, this is your IP address. And then what port exactly? So we have opened the port 1337 and we simply click it. And then you can see here, I can see your service on blah, blah, blah. So you have successfully opened the port. So you see, for example, port 80 here, you'll see that it is not open. And then it will um, show accordingly that it's not open. Let it load for a while, you see here. Uh, there we go arrow i cannot see your service because it is not open now if you want to check what's your one ip address you can simply google what is my ip and then look at that the greatness of google your public ip address is so on and so forth now once you have all this in mind what you want to do here is to basically access this when ip and uh, see if it works. Now, if you are still in the local area network, you will not be able to access it. I'll just show you uh, because it will go to a loop that doesn't work properly. And you see, it will not load at all. So what I'm gonna do here now using my, using my VPN server, um, I'm going to um, be connected to a another server yeah okay now you can see here what is my ip again here we go my ip has changed so now if i access it there we go i've locked in actually to my webmin server from outside my local area network now uh if you don't see how it works i'll i'll shut down my vpn connection Show you again that it's shut down. And then we are back to my own location network. And then we're going to type in sorry. Hmm. Ah, I missed a my bad, and there we go. We have locked in here to my webmin server from inside. So once 
you have done that, you have basically successfully port forward your um, one IP to your local area network. Now, this is very useful. Say you want to do your Minecraft server, your uh, Team Fortress server, Counter Strike, whatever. Uh, this is what you will use to actually enable access from outside to let your friends, your family to connect from their own internet connection. So now the next part I will teach you here is to subscribe to a service called um, Dynamic DNS. Now because most of us consumers aren't issued with a static one IP, uh, whenever you restart your gateway or your server, um, your gateway or your modem or something like that, your public IP address will change. This is usually the case for most ISPs. Now, um, so what you want to do here is to subscribe to this service called a dynamic DNS. Now, this will allow you to update your IP address to a proper domain name or subdomain name so that it is always updated. So you will not have to worry that your IP address change and then you save your old um, public IP address and then you will not be able to access your um, server. So this will el eliminate that problem. So what you're gonna do here, I'll show you. Now, um, we, sorry, we're gonna go here and then it's usually titled DDNS. This is usually the same for most routers. And then you're gonna search for the service. Now, most routers provide um, quite a few range here. Now for you, um, most consumers, we are not um, concerned about most features here so we are going to subscribe to a free service and this is um, free dns .afraid .org. now i'll show you the website here we go so what you want to do here is you want to um, register an account and once you have registered account you're going to go to subdomains that domain there So you're gonna lock in after you register your account. Now I've already created a subdomain, but I'll just show you quickly how to do it. So you're gonna add a new subdomain. Your if you if you're using another web service, your um what you will see might be different, but the options will be again the same. Now the type here we have a lot here, but for our purpose we'll just do a which um a, an a record will simply point a subdomain or a domain to your IP address. Now you, your, your subdomain here, you can choose whatever you want and then you can choose um, the different domains that are available. Now this is free so don't complain if it's weird like chicken killer and so on. But I choose moo.com uh, simply because it's the shortest that is available. Now the destination here, you don't really have to worry. You just leave it as it is. Now um, then you just simply click, uh, press save. Now then you go to your dynamic DNS and then you will see that you have um, different candidates here available um, and what you're going to do right now is that you're going to copy this link here and then you're going to paste it in now what you see right after the question mark you're going to copy it to your clipboard and that is basically it now you simply have to type in under host name your subdomain your full subdomain name for mine swiftness.moo. M-triple-o.com then you're gonna put a comma and then just paste whatever you've copied from just now earlier this part here you're just gonna copy it basically you can see if you go in here it's just a script here that it runs so once you've done that your username and password because they allow for um, guest access you don't really have to access say to put in your own um, username and password you can just put it at guess and guess leave everything else as default. Now here, for, um, this false update interval, you can reduce it, but I'm not sure what's the uh, terms and condition or what's the uh, allowed um, intervals allowed, the frequency allowed for, for this service. So for example, here we put 10 here, the default is 10 days. So every 10 days, they will update um, the, the DNS server, uh, the service here with your new IP address. Now why, whenever you type everything done, you're going to click apply settings and then you're going to have it saying something like that. Now if you're going to receive an error and so on and so forth, you will have to correct it accordingly because it simply means that your um, router is unable to access that particular service to update the IP address. Once you have all that done, you can simply see 
that it is working. There we go. I've accessed my own server here through the one IP, but um, we can you can also do something like that. Simply om open the command prompt and type in ping. Now this will show that you are pointed actually to the uh, your this particular IP address, your one IP. You can see here this and that is basically the same thing so once you have done that you have basically done every single thing available and then you are actually good to go so prepare to say hello world to the world through your um, new setup port forward and um, just to show you that it works now that it's enabled I'm going to again, as you can see here, I'm going to log out again. I'm um, logging to my VPN server. Quickly here. Now, again, show you that my IP has changed back again. To, and then um, we're going to connect using. this and there we go we have successfully locked in and access our webmin server from the outside so that is that's it really so i'll just show you now before we end uh, some of the things the website here so here is one website called portfort.com this is a very very useful site because they contain a lot a lot of routers available for you to learn how to port forward so you can just go here and then look at that, all the different brands. So for example, one of the more common routers out there uh, is the Asus. And then we're going to navigate to your whichever. And this is one of the more pop popular ones nowadays, the RTN66U. Um, now uh, you can actually just click, click anything because it will just show you how to navigate and then you just have to edit it accordingly. There we go, all this thing. And then you just follow accordingly. So you, I just show you here. As, as you can see here, the options here are basically almost the same thing. Service name is similar to my application. Port range is uh, where you are port from, and then your local IP that is your IP address, and then local port that's where you are port to. The protocol, and then add or delete, and then you can enable or select no. So actually, the options are very very similar. So you will have you just have to find the page where it um, contains all the settings for port forwarding, and then you're good to go. And uh, so this is the website here, the free DNS .org Here, this is where you want to access um, to create your dynamic DNS um, service. And then GUI here is very very useful if you want to uh, if you do not have the mod available. So for example, as you can see previously the uh, the Asus here, let me show you. It does not have the latest one, the um, AC router. So you simply have to type in I believe it's RTN sixty six AC pop forward. Now the first part here, um, just some googling tips, is your port forwarding, uh, sorry, your router model number and then simply type in port forward. And you can see loads and loads of help here. Um, you have to simply, oh, I just, it's wrong here. <laughs> And there we go. You're gonna have lots and lots of tips and guides. Look at that. I even have a YouTube video for you to uh, refer to. So yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, do let me know. Um, do message me or leave a comment. And if you want to see a written guide, uh, read a written guide rather, you can visit the URL that I've left in the description bar. Else, uh, do give me a thumbs up if you find this video informative. And um, do subscribe. And I'll see you guys again soon.